Some of it, oh, you get some of your tape. Am I just weak or is this really strong tape? Hello, hello, it's Natalie Marie here and welcome back to my channel and it's been a little while since I've actually done a sit down video, I think. I feel, I feel like I haven't done this in a while. But anyway, what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today is, um, yeah, these are my tips to survive spring. So, uh, if you're not Australian, um, or Melbourneian, or whatever. But I think we, when we reminisce over spring, we kind of forget the things that try to torture us throughout that season. So today, what I'm going to be doing is... With this helmet, I'm going to make a headgear that will help you survive the magpie swooping. Magpie swooping is pretty much one of the biggest things that we're known for uh, in spring. I'm going to avoid the park area or I have a creek at the back of my house. You never go there during spring because those magpies are ruthless. <laughs> what you're going to need is you're going to need a helmet, some tin foil or aluminium foil, a pair of groovy glasses. Now the groovier the better. These, um, I don't know what they're called, pipe cleaners I think? Yeah, so basically they're like that. One thing that you need to survive spring, you're gonna need some Claritine on you. Stock up guys, properly. So you get your aluminium foil, Get some of it, oh, stick it. Stick it inside. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it's not a fashion statement. You can make this as pretty as you want since you're wearing it. But I suggest to be practical. Um, I mean, magpies, they're no joke. Okay, another survival tip you guys are going to need. If you drink beer or any cans of soda or something, you are going to need to cover that shit up. I mean, I've known a lot of people, well actually I haven't, I've heard about a lot of instances where people have actually died who are allergic to bees because they've had an anaphylactic shock. They've left their cans on the table and a bee has gone in and they drink it without knowing because you know it's a can, you don't really look when you drink. Um, yeah. But for those people that do, I'm thinking of you guys, Get a can cover, it will probably save your life. But I've seen people make these and they have like cable ties and everything because magpies are a serious thing in our culture, in our society. I understand why play school always uses stick tape now. It's just so much easier. I mean, they have to like make a whole episode. So they don't want to waste time with glue. Glue that has to dry. Whereas sticky tape, done. Done and dusted. So you got that. We've got our cable ties. The reason why I put the foil on is because they like shiny things. So if they do get attracted to you and while you're running by, you definitely know they will swoop for the shiny thing and not your face. Because you're trying to detract from your eyes not want them to sweep your eyes, then you're just a corner. You're not only just falling off your bike, you've practically gone blind. That's why a lot of people, um, they wear sunglasses on their head whilst they're walking because the magpie will think that's their eyes and will swoop and hit the glasses. So we're going to just stick these sunnies down without the sticky tape. pretty sure that's the right way. So we've got our sunglasses, so they're going to either hit that if they don't hit this, you know. But they don't know what's going on here. Another thing you guys are going to need for this spring survival guide, um, I've been doing a lot of this and no talking and I should really talk and tell you what you need, otherwise you're not going to be prepared and it's going to be my fault and then I'm going to feel awful. So, you're going to need mosquito or bug spray, trust me. Take it everywhere you go. If you're coming to Australia from another country, have that bug spray. Don't care if you're just in the suburbs. It's not like they're everywhere. 
they are everywhere. The mosquitoes this year are phenomenally like a lot larger bunch and they're big. Like take the bug spray, put it on yourself, even though you think they're not gonna be there, just do it. Trust me. While they're swooping down, you just think about it, they're swooping, they see us, and then they see this little note. While they, you know, they've swooped, they've hit the glasses and they're like, oh, oh. So they like leave, but they turn around and they see this. A well done ribbon that usually get like an athletics day or something. Just a little bit of sarcastic note. So a little like quip for those magpies. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Trust me, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna love it. I'm sure once this video is out, everyone's gonna be making them. And they're like, you know what, that is so smart. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you kind of enjoyed it or you saw the humour out of it. Trust me, I, I'm just saying this, please don't do this for real life. I mean, if you want to and take a crack at it, it might actually work. But um, I'm not taking responsibility if you get swooped. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up, big thumbs up, subscribe, watch for some vlogs, more comedic things. I don't know if this is comedic, but you know. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, have a good day and I, you know, I'll see you on the flip side. Bye!